Hey guys, it's Allison and I'm here with another process video for my October Daily. I was just showing you at the beginning some new things I got. Sorry, that's my son being weird and snorting. Um, I got the Boo Paper Pad from Pebbles at HomeSense, as well as those little flag things from Michaels that I'm going to use as labels. There's so many in there and everything is 50% off right now, so I think it was like 2 bucks for like 50 of them, which is sweet. And... Oh, excuse me, they're black and gold, so it's not like you can't use them for something else. Anyway, so what I'm doing here is um, I was just cutting down that photo. I wanted it to be 3x3, three three, but I couldn't figure out how to do that in an app. So it ended up just being like whatever that is. But <laughs> I just tried to make it smaller than a 4x4 four four, but bigger than a 2x2, two two, so whatever. And then I backed it with some paper from that new paper pad, and then now I'm putting one of those flags down. And then I thought I wanted to put this ghost thing on there. And I adjusted it a million times and realized there's no way that I can put it on there and still see the pictures of my kids without cutting off part of the ghost. So I just gave up on that. Um, and now I'm just going through my embellishments. I decide to use this star and then I put it on and I don't like it. Um, yeah, see, this is me not liking it. And there's my daughter's hand. <laughs> and then um, I decide to use one of these Recollections pumpkins, which looks okay. And then I just write a little bit of journaling. I promise you can't actually see anything in that picture. Yes, it is a bath time photo, but you cannot see anything. So, don't worry. Um, and then I just use one of these little baths. It's my last one. I really want another one of this sticker sheet, but I cannot find it anywhere. It's like sold out everywhere, which sucks. So, um, some people have been finding them at home since. I have not found it at home since. So, sorry, there was a few of my daughter's cup. <laughs> I was fixing it. Um, and so now I'm just cutting down some of these 2 by 2s And, um, yeah. So, yeah. Her cup was acting up. It's, like, weird. It, like, vacuum seals and you can't get any liquid out of it, so I have to, like, open it. And so she kept giving it to me <laughs> to fix it. Anyway, so now I'm just matting these photos. Um, these are just photos of pumpkin cookies at Starbucks which are super yummy. They're just sugar cookies, but I like festive things. Does anyone else like festive things? Like every year I buy those, like those Pillsbury, not every year, but like every time there's an occasion where they have those Pillsbury cookies, I buy them and make them. I haven't found the Halloween ones yet though, so I don't know if they have them. Um, so yeah, I'm still adding these photos. Sorry you can see my head in this one. And putting them down, and then I decided to use one of these freaky fountain things. It's just like the one with the cupcakes in the like holder platter thingy. I I don't know. They do look a little bit cheesy, but I think I'm okay with it. Just I don't want to like overly use them because they're definitely they have that like little colored outline on the outside, which makes them look cheesier. So that just says yum, and then I just use an enamel dot, and then I think I want to put something under, but I don't think I end up doing that. Yeah. So now what I'm doing is I'm going to make a flip pocket. So I use another piece of paper from the Boo collection. This one is like a bunch of poison jars. It's super cute. I like it a lot actually. And it goes well. Like obviously it's not quite the same like vintagey look, but it's still the same colors except for it has green, but that's okay. <laughs> anyway, so now I'm just matting my photos again and um, matting this photo and then I'm going to put them down on the card. Sorry, my kid is down here and I've tried to film this or do this voice over like four times. So it's just happening with kids yelling in the background. Anyway, so I went to the ephemera and I found this bird and this October. I promised my husband is out there with them. She's just getting mad at him. She's under control though. <laughs> anyway, so I was just looking to see if there's anything else I wanted to put there. So I just put some enamel dots. And then I decided to make a flip pocket. I made my own um, because sometimes I cut down page protectors for Project Life. So I just uh, cut off a 4x6 part of one and then cut it down to 4x4. And then now I'm just fusing it. I cut it a little bit longer than 4x4 um, at the top just so that I could have an area to fuse it down to. And it actually worked really well. I'm happy with it. I was like very impressed by myself. I've never made one of these before. So you can see so much of my head. I promise my hair is not greasy, it's just wet. <laughs> anyway, so um, 
I was clapping, I guess. I don't know. So now I was just trying to figure out what I wanted to do with the back. And this is where I make my mistake. So I glue this down the same direction as the photo. And I don't realize it until too late. You'll see. I fix it. But yeah, so this is just one of those seasons cards. It's October one. So I just add some journaling. And then I add a puffy sticker and an enamel dot. I thought about doing the banner, but I didn't like the way it looked, so. Enamel dot, and then I put it in the pocket without thinking about it. <laughs> and then I fuse it. So when you fuse it like this, you, you fuse the whole thing closed. Sorry, my head is in the way again. I was just trying to line it up. Perfect. So this is kind of weird fusing it like this. Um, because there's a lot of layers, so it's kind of like a deeper fuse than normal, but whatever. So this is me fixing it. I somehow managed to only cut one side of that, and then I just, like, rip them apart and stick it down the right way. Because <laughs> when you flip it up, it was upside down. So it needs to be upside down when you put it in, and then when you flip it up, it's the right way. So, and then there's just, like, the open part, but it doesn't look bad or anything, so yeah. Here is a close-up. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like and subscribe and comment, and I will see you soon. Bye!